Hello and welcome to Mastering in the Box. In this week's video, we're going to take a look at mid-side processing in Studio One Five Professional using the splitter tool. Hello and welcome to Mastering in the Box. I am your host Smudge and thank you for taking the time to watch another one of our videos. We are just approaching 150 subscribers and nigh on 3,000 views. So thank you to everyone who subscribed so far and taking the time to watch one of the videos. If you subscribed, thank you. If you haven't subscribed and you want to know more about digital mastering, then please make sure you hit the subscribe button below and tick the bell and select all so you receive notifications and all of our videos moving forward. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So before we dive on into Studio One 5, let's just very quickly explain the basic principles of mid-side processing. When you are mixing the track, you have all of the individual tracks available to you, and then you use panning to fill out the stereo field. So typically what will happen is you will generally have things like the the kick, the bass guitar, the lead vocal, the snare down the middle, and then you then pan other instruments in the stereo field, maybe guitars, hard left, hard right. You may move the toms out of the middle to make room for the bass guitar and the kick to breathe. You may move things like cymbals. You may move those out of the middle to create some more space for the lead vocal. Likewise, with backing vocals, you might want to pan them slightly, etc., etc. When it comes to mastering, we will generally only work with a stereo file. So we cannot affect any of the individual tracks once we have the final mix down. So if I decided as part of the mastering that I wanted to add some air to the lead vocal, if I applied an EQ in the insert and I was to do a 10k shell for one and a half db it may add some air to that lead vocal but it will also add that air to everything that is at 10k and above so that would include the guitars on the side the cymbals everything at 10k and above that may be good but that may not be ideal in every circumstance so if we could then process the mid with the lead vocal at 10k and above but not affect the sides this is where mid side processing can be a real asset now some of the more advanced mastering plugins may have the mid side functionality already built in that's great but not everyone has all of those advanced plugins but presonus make it very easy for us to process mid side by using the splitter tool. And let's quickly show you how we can get this implemented into our session and let's see how we can start affecting this track. So to get the splitter tool working, first we need to add in a plugin. The plugin that I'm gonna use is the mix tool, which is one of the stock plugins inside of Studio One. We need to select MS transform mode and we need to add three dBs worth of gain. The reason why we add three dBs worth of gain is because using the mix tool in the MS mode or using the splitter tool, it reduces the volume slightly. So just adding around three dBs worth just offsets the volume reduction that this applies. Once we've done that, You'll see the routing button here. Click on the routing button, and then you'll see we have the option to add the splitter in. So if I just click on the hand, drag, drop, insert splitter. What we then need to do, because this mix tool is applying the mid side conversion, we need to add in another mix tool after the splitter just to revert it back to standard to do MS transform again and another 3 dBs worth of gain. Click your routing button. That is your project set up in basic mode for mid-side processing. So let's click on splitter. We want to have channel split mode. Now, if I play the song, you'll see here we've got the mute output functions and I will toggle those and you will then be able to hear that it's splitting the song between mid-side. Too much, but I've been trying to forget you. 
There we are. That is the basic principle of getting mid-side functionality set up in Studio One Fire Professional, and then you can apply any of your favorite plugins in a mid-side mode function. Let's take this one step further. Let's say I want to take out some of the low end on the sides. So what I could hear is from the side, there was a lot of reverb and I wanted to take out some of that low end so it really frees up some more space for the kick and the bass to come through. Conversely, on the mids, I want to try and apply some compression. I want to bring up the lead vocal and I want to add some more weight to the kick and the bass. So how do I do that? Well, let's go to the sides first. Let's get our EQ, click, drag to the right hand side. The right hand side is the sides. So let's take a quick listen. If I mute the left output, it will only apply the sides. Let's take a listen. So what we can do is just use this to take out some of the low end and just boost the high end, give a little bit more stereo width overall, and it just really just tames that low end of the guitars, but gives them a bit more life at the top. So let's go back into our router. Now, if we go back into the splitter, let's re-engage the left channel, which is gonna be the mid. Now, this time I'm going to bypass the right, which are the sides. Let's go and grab a let's go and grab the stock compressor. Uh, let's click, drag, and now if I play the track, it should only play the mid. And just for example purposes, we're going to leave the ratio two to one. Let's leave the attack and release. I'm just going to reduce the threshold, just get a couple of dBs worth of gain reduction. Use the makeup gain just to boost the level back to whatever we lost and it's just, like, just going to bring out the the low end a little bit more and just really give some more body to the vocal so let's take a listen Come drag me down. Empty blues. Come watch me So there we have it. Let's just go back into our router. We're gonna go back into the splitter tool. Let's reconnect these sides. Let's take a listen. We can bypass the whole of the inserts and just see what the mid, mid side functionality is doing. So let's take a listen with it bypassed. Let's bring it in and just see what kind of enhancements we've made. So without going too in depth, this is just a nice straightforward way how we can use the MS functionality using the splitter tool inside of Studio One Five Professional. It's really good, it's really flexible. It gives you the ability to use your favorite plugins in MS function when not all of the plugins will have that functionality. I didn't say you can just split as many times as you want. There is so much you can do. If you want to make your own bespoke multiband compressor, you can do it. I would highly recommend you check it out because it's a you can really get into the nitty gritty and really focus your EQ moves and how you're applying compression in your masters to get the best sound possible. So check it out. So that's all I have for you for this week. A couple of shout outs, one to Nick Graveswell for letting us use his track 
I say this is from the EP Songs to Drink To. I'll leave links in the description down below. So big thanks to Nick for letting us use his tracks. I had great fun mastering his EP. And say so go and check him out. Songs to Drink To by Nick Gray as well. Also a big shout out to Joe Gilder. I know a lot of you already know Joe from the Home Studio Corner and from Presonus. I learned a lot of these techniques around the splitter. He is a fantastic ambassador for Presonus and Studio One and a lot of these techniques I learned from him so big shout out to Joe Gilder uh, and thank you to the wider the Presonus crew for all of the resources you have available to us. Please don't forget to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and click the little bell thing and select all so you receive notifications and all of our videos moving forward. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That would mean a lot. All that's left for me to say is I hope you all keep safe and well and I'll see you in the next video coming real soon.